River Dordogne at La Flay. I'm thinking about, well, there's a, there's a few options here. There could be that scene there. Excuse the tripods, but the boat silhouetted against it. If you see my drift. So the boat in the foreground and then the uh, the distant, the, the right hand side of the river bank or possibly another another possibility is looking up to La Flay. That's uh, in the distance there with the bridge going over over the Dordogne to, to La Flay. Or maybe maybe something like that. A number of possibilities. Okay, I've decided on this view, looking up river, light to my left, nice reflections over on the left with the woody bank and then leading on to just a, a glimmer of the village of La Flay in the distance. I shan't bother with the bridge. I'm going to be more sort of that composition. So quite dark, slithers of light coming across the river with the with the movement and the, the winds coming towards me. So hopefully there won't be too much noise on the mic. And some quite nice cloud formations as well. Okay. Water's edge. And then the woody slope. Top left corner. And just a glimpse of some houses. more distant trees going beyond just the other side of La Flay. There's a bit of cross hatching to note, to note some of the shadows. And then there's a Big tree there. A little one in front of it. Shadow there. Light coming from the left. There's some driftwood and all bits and pieces over on the left and then these slithers of light and dark. And they're gonna be, they're gonna be fairly horizontal. I'm gonna be careful when I paint those, to be very careful to get a nice horizontal lines. Maybe I'll get a boat in. Um, we're going to put a boat, put a boat moored here. And some shadow, uh, shadow reflections of that. Good. Right. So, paint. Well, 
the frogs have started. A simple blue sky. Not that dark. Wash that brush off. And then a little bit of red for a flay. And then a bit of green. bit of base green for the woody banks horizontal there. Now behind these buildings here we've got some more distant trees. Let's go a bit cooler with those. Is this dry yet? Nearly. a bit cooler, more blue. Funny top to that house that's catching the light. A little bit cooler, a little bit lighter. need to fill in this little bit here. The 
more the, the grassy bank. All right, now the water. So I'll start off, it's too blue, I'll start off fairly light. And then we'll come a little bit darker. A bit darker towards the base here. I want to just want to now lift off. A little bit of the paint for that light building. Just reflecting some reflection of that light building, just mop up that bead. This is fairly dry now. So a bit of shadow definition to the these woods on the left. Uh, different brush. Long head, long head synthetic brush. So make sure the tip is pretty well loaded, but the but the top of the brush it's got water.
bit of red for those the red roofs of the white buildings and just one side of it so that's catching the light that's a little bit more shady some shrubs just catching a shadow casting a shadow down the bank Just soften up some of these edges. A little bit, just dip the brush in some water. Close up some of the gaps. Alright, now for some horizontal bands. I'm going to go, it says horizontal bands of darker colour, and I'm going to go green with this initially, and then add in some darker little ripples of darker green with for the ripples of water so now these have got to be very horizontal
Make sure I go over the edge. Just in this bottom right corner, because there's some overhanging trees behind me, just above me, that's creating some darker little ripples. Right, next. Put the boat in. The boat I will do with a number 12. Let's have a a blue boat. And then some darker reflections. It's dry yet? No. Just want to waiting. Let's make this bottom left corner a little bit darker.
back to the water and some of the darker bits now. Just constantly looking up just to see where these these darker areas extend to. Probably been a little bit too quick with the, uh, the dark there. It's beginning to bleed just a little bit too much. going really dark in there. Right, this needs a little bit of needs something something dark coming down here. But I've got to be very careful not to go too dark. And it needs to be a good a good vertical. So
think what might help here is a bit of softening up. So dab in some clear water and then lift off. And if we've lost the definition a bit, if we've lost the definition a bit, then we can always add it back in. So that's a lighter bush in there. And then pick up something dark and add in a little bit more definition to those shadows. The frogs have started again. Let's get a bit more light on top of that bush by making it a bit darker at the base. Right, a little bit of white paint and then we're done. So there are some little posts catching the light. Maybe this boat has got some light on it as well. And then some reflections of those posts.
I just need a bit of shadow over that left hand side of that house it's too too much in the sun there I think I might have a little bit of the reflection of the that red building just a little bit so around about here And there we are, notice the end of my demo. Back indoors now, and as I normally do at the end of my painting demos, a little bit of a self-critique, try and be fairly hard on myself, and but, but at the same time, try and point out some things that went fairly well. The subject then, uh, the Dordogne River at La Flay. If you want to look it up on the web, that's spelled L-A, then a space, F-L-E-I-X. I believe it's pronounced Lafle. Very pretty village on a tight bend in the Dordogne. And fairly late in the afternoon, sunny day, still quite windy. A peaceful scene looking across to the village of Lafle and the reflections from the from the woody slopes on the left. I think, so some things that I might change if I did the same scene again. That boat is too blue. It need, I think if it was, if it was red or a, a sort of warmish color, would that have a different effect? I think it needs to be dark. I quite like the, the light, that sort of, latter thought of slapping some <laughs> slapping some white paint on that um, corner. I think that worked all right. And then sort of dripping it down in a vertical direction. I think that worked okay. The rooftops over there, too bright, too red. I uh, should have turned those down a bit. Looks a little bit messy there as well with the brush marks. Um, I know it's a plain air, but to be a little bit critical of myself, it's a little bit too messy and overworked reflections on the whole are all right i think i've got the feeling of a fairly calm dordogne and these gentle reflections and those horizontal lines going across the value of those reflections the the little ripples in the water getting a little bit thicker as they come towards me but narrower thinner in the distance Perhaps some of those lines could have been more carefully drawn. And also what might have been useful with those reflections, perhaps some softer edges there. Like down here, that, that's a softish edge. That green there, that green against the blue, that's a softer edge. But if I go up here, those harder edges tend to I think make themselves stand out just a little bit too much and it might make that it might make that area there appear closer almost where the boat is a little bit closer to us than than where it should be sort of halfway between the boat and that far shoreline quite happy with the brush marks and the sort of fairly loose brush marks on the left I think that turned out okay the feeling of these um 
medium, small, medium sized uh, sort of spherical trees on the, on the river bank and uh, the, the soft, sort of soft shadows or quite dark shadows right at the base of those as they touch the water. And then, and then, yes, I think it needed that, that reddish building there. I think it needed that bit of a shadow going across it just to, it was, it was late in the day and there was some longer shadows just beginning to appear. So I think that worked all right. That bit of a, bit of a light shadow sort of glazing over that. You can still see the underlying colours underneath. And the pattern of those shadows going across the the shoreline, just below the houses as it comes down to the water's edge. I think that I think that worked okay also. Lifting out here, lifting out to give us a bit of a long, long reflection of that white building that worked all right. They can always be quite tricky lifting out because sometimes if you're if your brush is a little bit too wet, you sometimes might end up with a dark edge where the pigment is is sort of floating around and it and it settles on the area between the wet and the dry. Sometimes you get a little, if it's not done right, little sort of edges, darker lines appearing. But I think that, yeah, I think that turned out okay. Nice bit of granulation, bottom right corner. Some people like it, some people don't. I, I quite like it. And some paints granulate more than others. This was, um, I'm trying to remember now, cobalt. And uh, yeah, sort of granulated quite well. Dark reflections in the foreground. I think it needed that that darkness there. So light, light in the distance, then a little bit darker here. Other things I could have done, I could have put a figure in the boat, maybe rowing, bit of... The oars could have been in the in the water, a few little ripples around where the oars are entering the water as a final embellishment on that. Um, but I'm fairly, fairly happy with the, the result. Nice balance to it. And it was a pleasant late afternoon, early evening on the Dordogne. Well, hopefully get in some more plein air soon. Catch up with you on the next one.